Welcome to Dust Geek. Don't you judge me. I feel you guys judging me. Like, how dare you bring Apple AirPods onto your channel? You're supposed to be an audiophile. You know better. Get that crap off of here. Well, listen, just calm down and hear me out because it's been two years since these little AirPods hit the market. And I have avoided them like the plague, like all of you told me to, like every respectable audiophile site said, stay away. The sound is subpar at best. You're paying way too much money for these. But then I kept seeing the price drop and drop and drop, and I had to get a pair. Now I have both an Android device and an iPhone device, so... I wanted to make sure I could connect this to both of these devices as well as my Linux desktop, which is running Arch right now. As an Arch user, I'm compelled to tell you that. And so I used the Aventry Bluetooth dongle here, which is a $30 Bluetooth dongle, by the way, but works beautiful. So this works amazing in Linux. It works amazing in Mac, uh, Windows, whatever operating system you want to use. It is a very versatile Bluetooth adapter, so I could try these on my desktop. So to let you know, I've tried them across all the devices. The experience varies. The experience, of course, is the best on the iPhone because as soon as you flip this little cover up on this device here, your, your iPhone will prompt you to connect. You click connect and it will say, hi, DOS Geek. We're going to name these DOS Geek's AirPods and they're set up and ready to use and they work immediately. For other devices, you're going to have to sync, hold the button on the Aventry, hold the button on the back of the case, and it will sync to the device, and then you pair it and set it up within your settings of your device just like you normally would any other Bluetooth device. So obviously the experience if you have Apple products on this, being that it's an Apple product, is going to be better uh, than other products, but otherwise it works very similar. Now, I do find with the Aventry that if this is stays connected into my computer, it's such a powerful connection that let's say I'm upstairs listening to music and I leave my computer on and somebody sends a message through Telegram, which prompts a sound. It's going to steal the signal away from my phone. And basically, I'm going to hear that ding through uh, the Telegram device in my headphones, even though I'm upstairs. And it's going to steal that signal away until I go and push play again back on my phone, unlock it, do that. So you may want to pull this out or not have it connected, uh, turn it off or forget it on other devices that you're not using because it doesn't seem to be able to maintain multiple connections very well, meaning it can't switch between them seamlessly. So that's one issue. The second issue, of course, that we talked about at the beginning is the sound quality. The sound quality of these devices, this device is very similar to what you would expect from a $20 to $30 pair of headphones, except you've just dropped $140 plus on these. So that's kind of disappointing. And for most people, you're like, that's enough. That's all I needed to hear. I'm out. But hold on, because there's something to be said about convenience. And even as an audiophile, if I'm sitting there with some Jack Daniels, some single barrel Jack Daniels, a little bit of ice, maybe some Pepsi throwback. I'm relaxing, listening to a soundtrack. I'm going to pull out some AKGs. I'm going to pull out some Sennheisers. I'm going to pull out my focal spheres, and I'm going to have the most amazing sound stage, the most amazing experience of sound that you can have. And I definitely suggest you indulge in a fantastic pair of headphones. But there are times where convenience matters, such as you're out on the road, you're traveling, you're in the airport, uh, you need to take phone calls. Uh, as you're out and about, and these device, this device here does this extraordinarily well. So where it doesn't excel at very well is being headphones. Where it does excel at is actually convenience. So we'll get into some of that here. So you get a 24-hour battery life. This little box here has a battery in it. Your AirPods have a battery in it. You can charge one AirPod at a time and listen to the other if you want, which is quite convenient. 24 hours of total listening time here on a single charge of this tiny little box you can fit in your front pocket of your shirt. You can, especially if you're a geek, because we like the pocketed shirts, or you can put them in your pants, or you can put them in a purse or a laptop bag or anything else, and they're going to work fine. Plus, added bonus here that a lot of people don't talk about. Some people say that that, that little dangly stem looks stupid, but when you have a beard, it's completely hidden. So if you have a beard, guess what? You don't even have to worry about the little dangly stem there. I don't think it looks terrible. 
uh, but some people don't like it. I think anytime you have a bunch of blinking things in your ears, you're going to look stupid either way. Uh, the packaging, of course, is typical Apple packaging. Why are we talking about packaging? Because for some reason, some people care. But you do feel like you're getting a high quality product and you get the little sticky stuff to peel off too and a nice manual and you feel like you've just spent a lot of money when you buy these, which is important to some people to feel special. And guess what? You did just spend a lot of money on something. So because it's Apple and that's what they do. So why is this so convenient? Well, we talked about the small size. It's very well built, very solid. So you could drop this, you could drop these uh, AirPods on the ground and I highly, highly doubt they would break. It would take a lot of effort to break these. Believe me, I've dropped it enough and attempted to try. So that's one area where it's very convenient. It's durable and it's small. The other thing that makes this very convenient is its range. This has some of the best range that I've ever found in a Bluetooth headset. I can leave my phone down here, go up to the second floor of my house, go to the clear other side of the house, and only have maybe a minor break or two as it's finding the signal and then plays perfectly fine. Other Bluetooth headsets, which by the way, they all suck in sound quality compared to wired headset, go figure, at least in the range that I can afford, um, the, all their sound is bad, but the range on these is absolutely fantastic. Best range that I've found in a Bluetooth headset to date. You could stick this in your locker, your phone in your locker, have these on you while you're out working out if you have you know, a reasonably small gym and probably have a fantastic experience. So that is very convenient as well. They have nice little touch controls, but they're not all that useful. And frankly, they're finicky, except every time that I try to record a video in which they work perfectly for some reason. I don't know what that is, but when I'm upstairs and I'm, I'm not recording a video and I mess with these, sometimes the double tap works, sometimes it doesn't. So they could be a little finicky in that way. As far as customization settings go with these devices, you get just a few customization options in here, which I'll read them off. So you click on your Bluetooth device, the AirPods under your settings, and then click on the I next to it. Yeah, I had to look that up to figure that one out. And you have a couple options here. You can change the name. You can have the left device be play, pause, next track, previous track, or Siri, or off. You can turn off the next controls. And then you have the same options you can set for the right. So one could be play pause, the other one could be next track when you double tap it, or one could be Siri, one could be play pause. Siri is cool to have on it because you can have Siri, you know, uh, look for music for you, get GPS directions, all the things you can do with Siri through that by just tapping it. Phone calls is another convenience on these. The sound quality for phone calls is amazing, especially considering the size of these things. People do not know that I'm on any different headset than I've talked to them before. It's not tinny or horrible. It's clear sound for me. It's clear sound for those I'm talking to. So business travelers and things like that need a convenient pair of headphones to listen to some music while you're waiting, but then be able to take a business call. These work fantastic for that as well. Comfort wise, well, they stay in your ear really well. You could run, you could jog, you could do push-ups, and they stay there. Even my wife with little tiny, delicate, cute ears who can't wear any other type of over-the-ear headphone, only on ear. Everything else falls off her ear. It doesn't matter if it's the ones that have that little ridge that kind of goes into the ridge of your ears or whatever, they fall out. These stay in her ears so she can even use them. So if you have someone in your life with super tiny ears, this will be your solution. So uh, it's hard plastic. There's a little bit of metal there. What that metal allows you to do as well is add a little strap to it that's magnetically attached, which is nice. Uh, so that uh, is another thing that you can add into your purchase cost of these already expensive AirPods is grabbing a dongle as well. And I believe Apple sells their version of it for just a little bit more money. Uh, because while this is a fantastic idea, uh, the tendency or feel like you're going to lose one or one falls out and the expense of these, you're probably going to want that security of having a dongle on. So ultimately there is a lot of convenience here and there's a lot of great Apple design elements like the clicky uh, magnetic AirPod holder here. So those are magnets. You hear that click? Oh, it's just so great. That click, you know, it's satisfaction, the nice little click on the cover 
that feels like it's magnetically snapped in place as well. Just those little touches that Apple does makes you feel like you've got a quality product. And everything is quality about these except for the sound stage. So let's get into the sound stage a little more. Your highs are well done. It's pretty much a full treble. You're going to get your highs. They're going to sound great, the voices and sound. But your mids, where most of your music happens, are going to fall flat. And your bass is also flat and only feel like you're getting partial stages of it. To give you an equivalent, if you have Apple earbuds that came with an iPod in the past or came with your phone, they sound just like that. There doesn't seem to be any new sound technology as a part of these AirPods. So you're getting the same sound you're used to, which frankly, for most people, those were an upgrade because everyone else was sporting like before the uh, Air, the iPods came out, people were sporting the $5 RCA headphones and things like that. So they thought the Apple ones sounded marvelous. Of course, if you try something like a Focal Sphere in-ear headphone, it's going to change your life and you're going to realize how much of your music you've been missing. But these aren't for music right now. Maybe the AirPod 2s will be. These right now show off the ability of convenience and they do that very well. And as frustrating as it is for me to say, because I expected to get these and just completely destroy them, that convenience has paid off already. And in fact, I'll be going on a trip soon and I know that convenience will pay off during that as well because of their small form factor because it's so easy to set up, so easy to carry, because of the long battery life, the fantastic range, the small profile, the ability to take calls, all of that adds up to, this is a nice tool to have with you. There are other options that are generic versions of this, but if you look at the reviews, there's so many inconsistencies with battery life, with sound quality, with losing connections and everything else. So yes, there are a lot of people who have created cheaper versions of this, but I don't know how good those are. Check the reviews and see for yourself. So $20 to $30 sound stage on these devices, $100 worth of convenience, uh, definitely packed in here and they do that very well. I'm excited for the AirPod 2s because if they spend some time, maybe with them having purchased Beats, they can get, and I know, insert joke here, because Beats don't exactly have the greatest sound profile either, but hopefully they can add some more technology to keep them small, convenient, but also add a better sound stage. And then these would be worth every bit of the 140 plus dollars they want for them. But because these are now two years old, you can find sales on brand new ones all day long. You can pick them up between 80 and hundred dollars if you're on the lookout. So not a bad investment there for the convenience there of travelers and the sound leakage on these is not bad at all. So you can comfortably sit there in an airplane and watch a movie and not have to worry about uh, interrupting somebody sitting next to you. So that's my review. That's the Apple AirPods here. You can look at the website and see some more information into it, but pretty much we've covered everything about these. I've had them for over a week. I really do enjoy them. The charging time uh, here, as they mentioned, five hours up to five hours of battery life on one charge. 15 minutes of charging equals three hours of battery life. More than 24 hours of battery life with the charging case. So that's amazing. You can buy extra stuff with them. Of course, it's Apple, like the charging pads and things, which you're going to need by the time you have all these Apple devices here. Speaking of which, I probably will be doing a review of the Apple Watch as well. Not the new one. Can't afford that. In any case, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Will you be picking up a pair? Do you have a pair? Do you like the soundstage? Do you think it's amazing and I'm all wrong? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't get too small. Don't get too small.